Hey guys, welcome to Food Picks Kitchen. This is the part 4 of 100 of the best and most exciting breakfasts in the world. In each video we get acquainted with 10 exciting breakfasts. And in this video, we review the rank 70 to 61. So stay with me until the end of this video, and don't forget that if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and comment for us. Number 70, Rakiki from Poland. Score, 4.2 from 5. A mix between classic American pancakes and thin crepes, fluffy rakiki are an authentic Polish dessert. They are traditionally made with apples, but the plain varieties are also quite popular. Eggs, milk or buttermilk, sugar, and yeast or baking powder create the basic thick mix for these classic pancakes. Before serving, they are usually sprinkled with plain or powdered sugar. Although rakiki are especially popular as a dessert, they can often be served as a sweet breakfast or as a snack. These pancakes can be eaten plain or accompanied by a cup of warm milk. Occasionally, apples can be substituted with other fruit, such as bananas and pears, while a dollop of whipped cream is often served on the side. Number 69, Cat Mare from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Cat Mare is what most locals start their day with, in fact, there are bakeries and cafes in Gaziantep open from early morning until noon serving cat mare for breakfast. Traditionally, it is also the first meal eaten by newlyweds after their first wedding night, as it represents the sweetness they hope to find in their marriage. Filled with pistachios and kamak, that is the Turkish clotted cream made with water buffalo milk, these flaky, crunchy pastries must be served fresh from the oven, while they're still warm. For a perfect Turkish breakfast, have your cat mare drizzled with a little honey, sprinkled with crushed pistachios, and paired with a nice cup of tea. Number 68, Chana Masala from India. Score, 4.1 from 5. A specialty of North India, Chana Masala, is a tangy chickpea curry that is commonly consumed as a snack, main meal, or breakfast. Arguably, it is the most popular vegetarian dish in India, commonly found on railway platforms, at work, in school canteens, or at ceremonies and festive occasions in India and Pakistan. Chickpeas are simmered in a combination of spices and herbs, often served with rice or Indian flatbreads such as roti or naan, then garnished with a dollop of yogurt or sour cream. Due to chana masala's popularity, there are also regional versions of the dish, such as the Pakistani version called a luchol, made with chickpeas and potatoes. Number 67, Eggs Benedict from United States of America. Score, 4.2 from 5. Eggs Benedict is a breakfast or brunch meal consisting of toasted halves of an English muffin that are topped with a slice of ham or bacon, a poached egg, and sauce hollandaise. Although there are numerous theories about the origin of the dish, most people agree that credit should be given to Delmonico's restaurant. It is believed that Delmonico's chef named Charles Ranhofer invented the dish in 1860s for a customer named Mrs. Legrand Benedict, who wanted to eat something new. Ranhofer even published the recipe in his cookbook, The Epicurean, published in 1894. Regardless of the inventor, eggs Benedict are nowadays found throughout the world, in numerous variations such as eggs Mornay, Florentine, Blanchard, Huzard, and Cochon. Number 66, Arepa from Venezuela. Score, 4.2 from 5. Arepa is a highly versatile cornbread made from ground corn dough or pre-cooked corn flour. It is commonly consumed in Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic. In Venezuela, Arepa is eaten at any time of the day, throughout the whole country, and across all socioeconomic groups. The golden discs with a crispy, brown crust are commonly stuffed with a variety of ingredients, and the combinations are seemingly infinite, from beans, cheese, and avocado to shredded beef and onions. 
For a Venezuelan breakfast, arepas are traditionally paired with a cup of strong coffee and hot dipping chocolate. Since they are not filled with anything for breakfast, they are commonly referred to as the viuda that means widow. The name arepa comes from the word arepa, which is the indigenous word for this corn bread, as its origins are believed to be from the indigenous tribes across Venezuela, such as Timoto Cuicas, Arawak, Carib, and Carina. Number 65, Guzlima from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Guzlima is a Turkish flatbread consisting of flour, water, yeast, olive oil, and yogurt, which prevents the flatbread from going too brittle. The dough is filled with ingredients such as meat, vegetables, eggs, various cheeses, or mushrooms, and is then baked on a sack griddle. Originally, Guzlima was served for breakfast or as a light afternoon snack, but today it has a status of popular fast food that can be found throughout the country's restaurants, food carts, and cafes. Number 64, Empanadas from Spain. Score, 4.2 from 5. Empanadas are likely to have originated from Galicia, Spain, where they were prepared as a portable and filling meal for working people, providing energy and nutrients needed for a day of hard labor. Baked and fried until golden, they are usually filled with a variety of spiced meats and vegetables, depending on regional preferences. In Mexico, cornmeal flour and manila, that is a spicy combination of chilies, olives, capers, and shark meat, is the most popular filling. In Chile, it is clams, mussels, and scallops, and in Bolivia, the filling consists of potatoes and eggs. Spain is famous for its empanada galega, filled with a stew-like combination of pork or tuna and peppers. However, Argentina is considered by many to be the best place for empanada lovers worldwide, and they can be found everywhere, from street food carts and local bakeries to fancy restaurants. Number 63, Boric from Turkey. Score, 4.2 from 5. Although many countries have their own versions of this satisfying dish, it was probably invented during the Ottoman Empire in the Anatolian provinces, an area that nowadays belongs to Turkey. Some sources suggest that Boric might be even older, a descendant of the Eastern Roman, Byzantine, Anatolian dish known as Enteritis Placantas, consisting of layered dough filled with cheese, its recipe dating back to 160 BC. Nowadays, Turkey is famous for its layered pies and pastries, all united under the name Boric, also Burek, Bayerek, Bayrek, Boregi. Regardless of many Boric varieties, Yufka always remains the same, and almost everything wrapped in it may be called Boric, which could also explain the name. Some suggest that it comes from the Turkish word bur, meaning to twist. Number 62, Pancakes with Maple Syrup from Canada. Score, 4.2 from 5. Pancakes are traditionally consumed across North America and Canada, made from a starchy batter, eggs, milk, and butter. Their origin is probably German, with the traditional Plankachen recipe being brought by German immigrants who settled in the United States in the 18th and 19th centuries. The pancake has a similar appearance and flavor as the French crepe, but differs in diameter and thickness. The thickness is achieved by the use of a leavening agent, either baking soda or nutritional yeast. American and Canadian pancakes are typically served for breakfast, in a pile, topped with maple syrup and butter. In Canada, the syrup must be made exclusively from maple sap and must contain at least 66% sugar. Pancakes with maple syrup are a Canadian staple, a light, fluffy and sweet delight that can be found on virtually every street corner throughout Canada. Number 61, Churros from Spain. Score, 4.2 from 5. Elongated, crispy, crunchy and intensely fragrant, churros consist of deep-fried yeast dough encrusted with sugar. Although some may argue against consuming these sweet treats, warning others about the dangerous effects of sugar and fat on human bodies, 
the popularity of churros throughout the world doesn't seem to wane. Originally invented by Spanish shepherds, who could easily cook them in a pan over an open fire, today these unusually shaped, cinnamon sugar sprinkled twists are most commonly eaten in Spain and Latin America as a hot breakfast food, accompanied by a strong cup of coffee or a cup of thick hot chocolate. Their characteristical shape is achieved by pressing the dough through plastic tubes, so it emerges on the other side in thin, ridged ropes. Although churros are a Madrid specialty, the ones found in Seville are often praised because they differ in a lighter and more delicate texture. In Cuba, they may be filled with guava, in Mexico with dulce de leche, and in Uruguay with cheese. Regardless of the varieties, churros are an indulgence that must be tried at least once. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell button so you don't miss the next videos. I'll see you soon in the next video. I will be back soon with the next video of the best breakfasts in the world.